Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG. I'm back with a brand new video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to save tires after patch 1.9. And um, yeah, very, very tricky to make sure you have the right setup for race and qualifying. You are going to have to run two different setups. Um, and I'm going to explain why. Anyway, let's get stuck into the video. So we're going to move over to the setup. I'm going to go straight for a aggressive preset. And typically, if I'm making the setup for quali, I'm going to make sure I'm running max toes. Um, actually, technically, in the in the Lambo, I, I tend not to run the rear on max because it already has quite a bit of rotation. Um, so I normally run something like this um, for quali. Still max cambers, still max toe on the front. And um, pretty much this is, you know, how I'd kind of set my tires up. Obviously, the pressures at the moment are irrelevant because they're just default, but I'd have, of course, the right pressures for whatever track and conditions I'm in. Um, but qualifying is not really what I want to talk to you guys about because, you know, most people already know that the toe still still pretty much works in qualifying over one lap. And we're more interested in what we're going to do for the race, especially if you're doing 20, 25 minute races and longer. You want to make sure you're able to save the tyres and not run out of tyres too quick. Um, I've personally seen guys that were faster than me in races and within the first six, seven laps, they're blitzing me. They're pulling away. But after that, they tend to start coming back to you at like half a second a lap because once them tires are worn, there's literally nothing they can do apart from just hemorrhage time. So I'm going to show you guys what I do and um, hopefully it helps you guys out. So for me, let's say we're doing a race. The first thing I always look at is the temperature. First thing I do is look at the temp of the track and the air. And um, let's say we're running in 19, 25 or whatever. So technically we're doing a, let's say we're doing a 25 minute race. But normally what I'll do is I'll come down on the front toes. Maybe at the very max I'll run minus 2.5, but that's even stretching it. So I run about minus two on the fronts. For me personally, I'm more about protecting the rear tires because I believe if your rear tires go, go off, versus your fronts you're going to have a much harder time so technically what you want to actually do is you want to make sure your tires wear at the same rate so there's no imbalance in your setup so even if you know you you start losing time the whole car still feels balanced you don't want to be losing a, a rear left and or losing tire wear from a rear uh, a front right or whatever and the car starts to feel unbalanced going through corners so in a temperature like this, I would tend to come down on the rear tires even further. At very, at the very max, I would run minus 0.1. The only way I would run higher than this is if it was seriously, seriously cold. Um, but still, this would probably be the max, even in these temperatures. And um, for a 25 minute race, I would drop the cambers down a little bit as well. And you could probably get away with running the front on max camber. But even then, for me personally, I go a click or two down and that's sort of what I would do um, and this is this is very much at the maximum aggressiveness in terms of cambers and uh, toe so I wouldn't go any higher than these for a race because the last sort of four or five laps you're going to see how much time you would end up losing versus if you went more conservative and how much time you actually managed to keep in your in your race car and just the performance let's say we're going to a track and the temperature is through the roof maybe like 28 air and like 36 track something crazy like that what i would do then as well i'd go even further down on the toes um and for me i'd, I'd even go into running positive toe on the rear as i said before i'm all about protecting the rear tires and not only just this as well i would then screw over to the aero and i'll actually run higher brake ducts on the rear just to make sure that my rear tires stay cool because the last thing you want is rear tires going off because for me personally that kills your traction that makes your traction control cutting even more it makes you slide around more which makes you feel you need to put your traction up so many things can contribute to you losing time and of course if you've got no rear grip you can't get on the throttle um you know you just have to be more careful in general so you just lose loads of time for me personally so let's say it was a really hot hot track whatever i'd make sure my rear brake ducts actually higher than my front and what i technically tend to do in a lot of these setups especially for the race um 
Well, to be honest, I, I kind of do in qualifying as well because I just enjoy to have rear stability. I actually do run a lot of the time with a soft rear end. I use very soft um, springs on the on the rear end, and then I sort of gain my time by going up a little on on the rake. And for me personally, max wing is for me still proven to be the best. Um, so I'd end up going up on the rake and make sure I've got max wing, and then it feels like I've got a lot of grip on the rear of the car, which allows me to still feel like I can push without you know without the car sliding around too much, without losing tire wear by draining them up just sliding all over the place so for me personally that's the way i've been keeping my rear end in check whenever i'm in races and so far for me it's definitely worked man um i did a race around kialami the other day you guys might have seen it um where the two guys in the audi were just getting off they were clearly quicker than everybody else but when we got to just over the mid part of the race me myself i did actually make a mistake and hit the wall me, myself, and two other guys in the Aston, we just began catching them like it was nothing. Because clearly they had stayed with their qualifying setups, probably ran something crazy aggressive. And even though it was it was very cool temperatures, after six, seven laps, their times just fell off. They started falling back into the one minute 40. I think they were doing 41 freeze and we were still doing like 40.8s. We started gaining half a second, even though at the start of the race they were clearly quicker so they probably stayed with a completely aggressive setup for the whole race and they started to pay for it now i can only imagine in hour long races it's going to be even worse you might even have to start changing up your driving style and not physically pushing as hard as you can because you know you might have to start driving through certain corners and leaving a little bit of um a little bit of space a little bit of space for for you know saving that extra bit of time because we haven't seen people do hour-long stints yet which i'm pretty sure we will do whenever the endurance races come back around i'm pretty sure you're going to see people having to do an hour-long hour-long stint and then from there we can sort of gauge what the time loss is and that way we can you know see what how we need to drive and if there is any tire management like physical tire management that means going through corners slower than you can go just to preserve um your, your tires what i will say as well guys last thing is whenever you do a race whenever you do any sort of stint always make sure you come back to your fuel and strategy and just go and check your tire set and obviously i haven't done any laps here but just go and check your tire set and just see what your tires how much they've drained and stuff like that because you're going to be able to take that and learn how much you know um how hard you've pushed your tires and whether you need to amend your setups even more to get the best out of your tires because normally if if i've done a stint it will show up here like light graining or moderate or it shows up if you've got a blister or flat spots or whatever your pad wear everything so you want to come over here and have a look after your stint and um, go to the correct tire set that you use for the race and then if you know if the graining's bad or whatever then you know there are certain things in your setup um perhaps even some stuff of your driving style that you're gonna have to change and amend to make sure you have a more progressive race but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the videos cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace